Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the latest OpenSSL update. Today, the OpenSSL group released updates to fix six vulnerabilities in their popular SSL TLS implementation. Now, you've probably heard of OpenSSL, and you probably know that SSL and TLS is what allows web servers and other services to create secure communications. And OpenSSL itself is a very popular implementation that's used by many web servers and is used by a lot of networking gear and other software software out there, so you probably have it somewhere in your network. In any case, this update fixes six vulnerabilities. Two of them actually have a pretty high severity. Now, the two big vulnerabilities, one of them is a combination of vulnerabilities that might allow bad guys to execute code on vulnerable web servers. Now, there are many mitigating factors around this dangerous sounding vulnerability. Essentially, an attacker needs to create a specially crafted certificate that's actually signed by a valid certificate authority, and that's a pretty high hurdle to get past. So while it sounds pretty critical, it's probably not going to be leveraged much in the wild. Now, the other vulnerability might allow a man-in-the-middle attacker to decrypt parts of your SSL communication. Now, again, there's hurdles to this. In order to, to get this traffic, the attacker has to somehow man-in-the-middle your network. He has to be able to, to intercept all the traffic between you and another SSL server. On top of that, he might have to get you to repeat certain communications over and over for this particular attack to work. In any case, these are pretty high severity flaws for open SSL. I highly recommend you upgrade to the latest versions, which I believe are 1.0.2H and 1.0.1T. In either case, check out the advisory and upgrade OpenSSL if you use it. By the way, there's probably a lot of other network and security gear you use that also has OpenSSL, so expect to have to upgrade that as well. And by the way, if you're a WatchGuard customer, we're currently looking into this vulnerability. We do know that some of our products, like our Firebox and Dimension, are vulnerable vulnerable to some of these issues, but not all of them. And engineering has already planned to release an updated version of firmware with the latest version of OpenSSL. That said, if you're a WatchGuard customer, we'll eventually post a knowledge base article with more details if you're interested. Anyways, if you use OpenSSL, go upgrade. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.